All right, everyone, we got news for your Thunderstorm warning. This is for Johnson and Washington counties. Also includes Jefferson County. It's going to run here for the next little while. Uh, this was issued just a few moments ago. Uh, this is for 60 mile an hour winds and one inch hail moving northeast at 15 miles an hour. A lot of lightning in the area as well. Uh, And the, so let me draw a storm track here. Let's pause this. And this is going to be near Harrison and Wrightsville. Oh, as soon as I draw the line. Hold on. Let's draw a new one. We get a new scan in. So this is going to be about 15. So Riddleville about 547. Bartow about 615. Wadley about 635 it looks like. Uh, and this storm again capable of 60 mile an hour winds and one inch in diameter hail. Uh, and this is the only warning in our area. There's another one just to the east of Statesboro, moving into South Carolina. Um, let's go big picture, show you what's going on. Uh, you can see the line of storms is exiting our area, uh, about to move into Jefferson County. Still some heavy stuff, Southern Wheeler, Telf or Telfair, Montgomery, Wheeler counties. Uh, but most of the area is now dry. We are moving the storms right along out of here. Uh, so this is the only warning we have. This is going to be for Johnson, Washington, and Jefferson counties for a storm moving northeast at about 15 miles an hour. And uh, now the majority of the area is dry. And so this is it. So Johnson, Washington counties until about 6.15. Uh, so about 30 minutes on that. But I do suspect it will be out of Johnson and Washington counties into Jefferson County and Emanuel County uh, before all is said and done. So let's talk about specifics. Uh, this is northern Johnson County. So Wrightsville along 319, 221. Kite not included in the warning, but uh, still expected to see some rain and wind. This is the part of the storm here that the warning was issued for. So from Harrison down to Donovan, uh, likely some hail in this region. Let me flip on the hail tracker and you'll see that there right along Georgia 231. And this is going to be along uh, Wrightsville, Riddleville Road, Pleasant Plains Road, Page Road, Harrison Pringle Road, uh, moving toward Robinson uh, Robertson Ridge Road, Bartow Dublin Road, Pleasant Hill Church Road, News Bridge Road, New Bethel Road, Dukes Road, Wilson Road, Whitfield Road, Tarver Road, Georgia 247, Jones Chapel Road, Salter Road. That is where the hail is moving toward. And again, you're getting closer to Jefferson County when you get into that area. The winds aren't too terribly strong. However, they could be upwards of 60 miles an hour. So let's put a track on the heaviest part of the storm here. Again, not moving all that fast, only at about 15 miles an hour. So 542 in Pringle, 614 in Bartow. 615 is until when the warning goes until. And this is part of the line of storms that is making its way out of our area. Uh, so Warner Robins dry, Perry dry, Macon dry, Cochran dry, Eastman dry, Unadilla dry. Uh, if I zoom this out, you'll see that here. So this is the line of storms as they exit. Uh, still some heavier stuff, Southern Wheeler and Montgomery counties, a lot of lightning, uh, probably some hail down there as well, though it's not as big as what's going on in southern Washington County, northern Johnson County at the moment. So maybe some small hail north of Hazelhurst to the east of Lumber City. But this is where the bigger stuff is in parts of Washington County and Johnson County. So that's the warning there.
let's see. Let's put a lightning tracker on it. So about 40 lightning strikes. Down there. Um, let's see. So again, if you're just now tuning in, some heavier stuff south of Mount Vernon, moving into Tombs County, this is Montgomery County here. Uh, maybe, and we saw a little bit of hail, but not much down in this area. Note if when it flips over to the Savannah radar, it doesn't look as impressive as from Jeffersonville. But a lot of lightning where this severe storm is here, and this is the one moving at about, not that, uh, moving at about 15. There we go. So 60 mile an hour winds possible, maybe some quarter sized hail. I'm trying to see if I can hop on the Facebook feed here. And if you're, uh, Washington County is included in this warning, Spencer, but I'm seeing a lot of what ifs. If you are not in Johnson, or Washington counties, there is no severe weather threat for you at the moment. So if you are in Houston, Bibb, Baldwin, Twiggs, Telfair, Taylor, Macon, Monroe, Pulaski, any of those counties, no severe weather risk at the moment. Uh, this is the only severe thunderstorm warning we have. And it's going to run for the next 30 minutes now. But it will cross out of Johnson and Washington counties into Jefferson County before that 30 minutes is up. So, again, I, not much to add other than here's the track and this is, you know, where the threat of storms is at the moment.
All right, so it looks like we've got a new scan. Let me uh, draw this track out a bit more. There we go. So there's a new timeline for you. Uh, seeing a lot of what ifs on Facebook Live. And it, again, if you are not in this area, uh, no need to be concerned. So, yep, Wilkinson in the clear. Wrightsville tapering down there, power out on Zebulon Road in Macon. Nothing going on in Twiggs County now, all good in Hancock. Just a storm up there that's moving out. No, you do not need to call out tomorrow. <laughs> you do not need to do that. So let's go big picture, and you can see that this is the only one we're watching. The storms are moving on out. There they are there. And so this is going to go here for the next 20 minutes now, 20-ish minutes, technically until 6.15, so about 25 minutes actually. And the good news is, like I was saying, once these storms have rolled through your area, you're going to be done for the night. Uh, we're not seeing any develop behind it, which is good news. And we're actually starting to see the rain behind it taper off as well. So the heaviest stuff is right on the Johnson, Washington County lines moving into Jefferson County. Uh, we've seen the hail die down. I was just looking at that. Actually, looks like it just peaked back up. So some hail between Harrison near Riddleville between Harrison and Davisboro there, Riddleville, Georgia 231, Georgia 242. Uh, this would be in the vicinity of Harrison, Davisboro Road, Jack Smith Lane, Glover Road, Tanner Road, Neeler Church Road, New Hope Church Road, headed towards Herds Bridge Road. This is in Washington County. and it's moving towards Louisville, towards Wadley as well. Let's go through uh, future view. You'll see tonight will be 
things will be coming to an end. Maybe some more right around 10, 11. We'll see how well that materializes. But our atmosphere is very much worked over, so we'll see if that comes to fruition. Then tomorrow morning, maybe a few showers through the afternoon hours. There's the noon hour. I'm not too sold on this model, Ryan. Let's flip over to the other high-res model we use. This is more like it. Um, see, it has a better handle on how things are going right now with the storms out near Trutland. Again, one or two possible through the overnight hours, maybe some developing tomorrow morning. Yeah, and then maybe some more tomorrow afternoon. In terms of a severe weather threat tomorrow, we are, some of the area is in a level one. I know that says Sunday, it's supposed to be Monday. Let me go ahead and flip that before I forget. Uh, since you know, we hadn't done the show today yet, so I hadn't got a chance to go through all of these graphics. So this is gonna be Monday, May 23rd. And there it goes there. Uh, dangerous, or damaging winds rather, some small hail possible with that line of storms as it comes through. Uh, and then that's gonna be it. And as we head into the week, this unsubtle pattern is gonna continue until we get this cold front through here Thursday bring some more storms along with it. So again, the storms exiting Washington and Johnson counties through Wrightsville, through Harrison, now on the way to Jefferson County, uh, still storming in the Riddleville area, moving towards Bartow, Elmira, moving towards Wadley, but done in Wrightsville and done in Harrison. Tennell, all clear, all clear in Sandersville. Uh, and down here has really piqued my interest. Uh, this is southern Montgomery County moving into Toombs County, technically not the 13 WMAZ viewing area, but a pretty strong storm here. It's going to be north at Hazel, between Hazelhurst and Mount Vernon, mostly in Montgomery County, but also now getting into parts of Toombs County as well. So. Hurry this right along. Some moderate rain now, Trutland County. We did have the warning there earlier. Also in Lawrence County, mostly dry now. All the rain is north of Interstate 16 and moving out. All the rain's gone from Wilkinson County, just a few showers. Irwinton, done in Milledgeville, almost done in Putnam. A few showers, southern Hancock, moving towards Glasscock County, Tolliver County. Another good storm there popping up down near Hinesville along the coast. If you have any pictures of anything, please send them to me on my Facebook page. You can search meteorologist Alex Forbes. Uh, opening my inbox now to see if we have any through the afternoon. I know we had some damage in Perry at the Georgia National Fairgrounds. A uh, great picture from Kayla, Abbeville Highway in Dodge County. Some great cloud picture there. Thank you for sending it, Kayla, if you're watching. Show that tonight. You can also send pictures to the 13 WMAZ Facebook page. Lynn saying there's some heavy rain in Kite. Uh, heaven, there is no warning in Macon. Looks like Wilkinson is in the clear. You are correct. Rain doesn't seem as heavy in Wrightsville as it was a few minutes ago. Yep, the storm is moving out of Wrightsville. Hail in Riddleville. Yeah, let's, let's go check it down in on the hail here. Let's get down into Riddleville, which is right about there. So the hail should be done in Riddleville now, but you know, so moving out. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, Jennifer, how big was the hail in Riddleville? Probably less than an inch, maybe? Uh, Lisa, explain how golf overrides having severe weather. Well, we, we break in if there's a tornado warning. That is our threshold. Uh, and, and when we don't have that, we run the crawl at the bottom of the screen. The tornado warning is our threshold for that. Let's zoom this back out. So again, nothing of concern in Macon, Warner Robins, Perry. In fact, if we flip over to the sky cams, you'll see it's 
probably, you know, Mayday's is closing uh, right now. And uh, again, there's a tent in the pond that should not be in the pond. Let me see if I can turn the sky camera on over to that. And it looks like the trees are going to be covering it up. I've seen a picture of it. Let's see if I can find it back there. I'm not seeing it. Maybe it was this pond over here. We're just going to keep on looking for it. So there's the entrance. Oh, you know what? I think y'all are seeing it a few seconds behind me. Sun's out in Warner Robins right now, so is Dora. Rain has slacked up some in Kite. Oops. And I'm not seeing the, the tent. I did see a picture of the tent in the water, though. We'll have to find that and get that out. Uh, I do have a time lapse from this camera earlier. And it got pretty windy down there in Perry. To put it mildly. There's some of the food vendors over there. But yeah, let's point this up towards the sky. I bet we'll find some sun right over here. There's some there. Some breaks in the clouds. Nickel size, says Jennifer and Riddledill. Thank you for sharing that. I'm going to pass that along to the weather service. All right, just pass that along, Jennifer. Thank you. Let's flip this back over to the radar here. And so the heaviest stuff is now moving into Jefferson County out of Johnson and Washington. It's there on the county line. Uh, the lightning has really gone down with the storm. And uh, the storms are moving out of our area. That's the good news in all this is that it's all moving out. Don't have any watches. This morning is the only thing we've got right now. And the warning's going to go for about 14 more minutes. Warner Robins, all good there. Not expecting any more in the near term. Crystal, uh, it's, I think it's actually speeding up. I think it's moving at about 20 miles an hour now. It was moving at about 15.
So we're going to continue to watch this here for about the next 10 minutes, and the warning will go away. Um, it do, I do believe the storm has fallen below severe limits. The hail size certainly not what it was. The winds are not impressive at all. I was just looking at that on the other computer over here. Um, so because of that, what we're going to do is leave the stream up, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off so that I can try to get some more of this forecast done and get some information out there. Um, so yes, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to leave this live radar picture up. Again, the storm moving to the uh, east at about 20-ish miles an hour now. Lightning slacking off, the hail slacking off, and the, the wind threat is not what it was.